Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. It is a nice Wednesday morning getting things off to a good start. It's a work day for me so I thought for today's vlog we could do like a, a work day in my life. So I just finished checking my email, responded to a couple things but uh, I'll have to get to the rest of it later because I have a call that is just about to start with my editor Rachel. Pretty much all of our correspondence is just like over text for like video notes, the editing schedule, sometimes a little bit over email. But today we're doing more like big picture planning stuff. So gonna jump on the Zoom, get my headphones on. Hi, Rachel. It's funny I'm talking to you, but I'm also talking to you because you're editing this vlog. Bye. Thanks, Rachel. All right. I just had an amazing meeting with Rachel. I am just feeling so excited about what's coming down the pipeline. And uh, now I've got to kind of compartmentalize that and jump into a meeting with Ryan that was supposed to start one minute ago. <laughs> Rachel and I were getting really excited. So uh, we, we went a little bit over, but all good things. Now my meeting with Ryan today is uh, helping her with some Vlogmas planning for her channel. Ryan's gonna do Vlogmas for the first time this year. So we have a call where, you know, we're gonna kind of go over her plan. I'm gonna help her with a little bit of like strategy, work-life balance, the various, tips and tricks I've picked up over the years on how to not die during vlogmas <laughs> and Ryan is already on hello it's miss Ryan oh wait you they can't hear you because I'm wearing headphones <laughs> but you, you can imagine <laughs> I found in my first couple of vlogmas is one of the hardest things to be remembering to take a thumbnail and thinking of like a title and a topic so that every vlog isn't the same. And I think planning it out like that of like, okay, I already know I'm decorating for Christmas this day. I'm going shopping on this day. I already know what the title is going to be so I can remember to pose for a thumbnail was really helpful. And then you only have three or four videos in the schedule that don't already have a topic. <gasps> oh, oh. But okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I, I think you're gonna kill it. I think you already have, the fact that you're already thinking about it now, I, and I just think it's gonna be great. Okay, bye. That was an excellent meeting. Oh, is my hair gonna be dented from these headphones? Probably. <laughs> really great meeting with Ryan. I'm super excited for her and just everything coming up on her channel with Vlogmas and also like beyond that. If you're not subscribed to Ryan's vlog channel, y y what are you doing? You gotta do it. I'm gonna link it in the description. She her videos are just fantastic. All right, so where are we at? production schedule. It is noon. That was two and a half hours of meetings, uh, two and a half hours of sitting in this chair. So I think I am ready to get up, move around, stretch, make some lunch. And then um, after that, I have a proposal I need to work on for a brand deal for TikTok. Okay. So I actually did not end up having lunch yet. It is 1.45. I just finished doing the pitch that I needed to for the brand deal. I was going to do that after lunch. And then I was texting with my manager and he's like, Hey, if there's any way you can get this to me sooner, this is like a super super quick turnaround for this brand deal. It's a, it's a time sensitive end of the year moment. It will make more sense <laughs> when the content is live in a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, it's like a, a much quicker turnaround than I typically work on. So he said, if I can get it to them now, then they can send notes on it by the end of the day. And then hopefully I can be like filming the content in the next couple days. So I needed to prioritize this. I just finished it. I'm proofreading. I'm sending it off. Kenzie and Jaden are here. Hello. Hello. They have been uh, working on their things in the studio and uh, they just got sushi. So they got sushi for me too. So I uh, am going to be eating here momentarily, which is good because I am very hungry. Yay! I almost said no to this because it was such a quick turnaround, but it's, this, it's a pretty cool thing. It's something I'm really excited about. But now I can eat. Yay. It's not a vibe when Sierra actually has to work. No. It's, <laughs> we're just like what over we here in do? silence and she's like typing away at her computer. Mm -hmm. Come okay. hang out with us. I'm ready to curl with you. <laughs> Oh, I am excited. So I've got this veggie roll here with like jalapeno, sriracha, avocado, looks amazing. And uh, miso soup, we've got some edamame too. Yum. I'm gonna go rinse out my coffee cup from this morning so I can drink my soup from it. Also, I like never film in this bathroom, but this is the bathroom that's between like the loft office that I was just in and the podcast room here. It's like a Jack and Jill bathroom. Good soup. Good mug. Good mug, good soup, <laughs> good day. Ooh, speaking of the mug, you know what we should show on the vlog after lunch? What? What you guys were working on today? Yeah. Do you think we should, or is it yeah. too early? No, no, let's show it. No, should we show, show it? it. Let's okay. Show it. All right, y'all, what are, what are we doing in here? Are we revealing? Is it time? 
Is it happening? I am so excited to share this with you guys. We have here our brand new cozy and kind candle. I cannot believe we have a candle. It smells so good. They so even smell good when good. you blow it out. Yeah. Like, you know, like burnt smell, it's not there. Yeah. I love it. I still have all the footage of when we did the testers. The, yeah, so I'm going to put that oh in this God. vlog. I forgot about that. Because that was like six six months ago, five months ago. It's been a long while, time. Yeah. Cheers. 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 We have a candle. Ooh. Some. Yeah, I love that with like the, what, what do they call it? Pompous Pomp grass. Pomp grass. Yeah. Looks good. Cozy vibes. Cozy Immaculate. Vibes. So Kenzie and Jaden have been in here taking product photos today. But if you think this is good, <laughs> you just have to see wait. our shoot from yesterday. Yeah. The bathtub one? The bathtub. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess you could light it from this way. I don't know why. Oh. Like, you have to go all the way over. You're right. You could just do it from that side. <laughs> Don't try it. No, but the way that I didn't even think about. I'm just, oh, right here. I'm sweating. I should have done cold water. You did hot? So let me tell you a little bit about this lovely candle right here. This is the second small business collaboration that we're doing for Confident and Kind this holiday season. Our cozy and kind candle, 100% soy wax, hand poured in Spokane, Washington, in collaboration with the amazing small business Anchored Northwest. I cannot believe it. I am holding my very own candle here. I am such a candle girly. And to have my own candle that is my own perfect scent. Unreal. Like, unfreaking real It is triple scented with notes of jasmine, ozone, sandalwood, and light musk. My biggest fear when we started the process of creating this candle was that we were not going to find a scent that, like, was up to my standards, because I am so picky when it comes to scents. Like, it has to be crisp and fresh. Like, I, I like really clean scents, but it still needs that, that warmth, a little bit of that woodsiness, where when I light it, it just makes my whole my whole home feel homey and this this is just everything I everything I wanted and also some things that I didn't even know that I wanted because going into the process of creating this candle I didn't know much about like actual notes I didn't know what scents went well together I knew what I liked like I'm very firm in my preferences but the first thing that I had to do when I started this process was like really fine tune those preferences really learn about the different notes and fragrances and balancing those scents together so then Anchored Northwest took that information and created created six candle blend samples that incorporated all of my favorite notes and feelings in different ways. We got those samples back in, I think it was in June, and Kenzie and I sat down together and did a blind smell test of all of them because we didn't, we didn't want to have any like preconceived notions of what we liked, what we didn't like. So let's, let's roll some of that footage. Should we get like coffee beans to like <gasps> cleanse our palate in Ooh, between, you know? that's a like, good be, idea. Like fancy, fancy, because that's a thing, right? Or uh, did I make that up? No, I think, I think that's okay. real. Yeah. Okay, I got our coffee beans. <laughs> that was a really good idea. <laughs> We're gonna line these up one through six. I'm like nervous. I'm so excited. <laughs> number one. Candle number one. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Wait, why am I already thinking that's the Ooh, one? That does smell really good. It's giving like fresh laundry. Yes, it's like light and clean mm. and airy, but with like a little bit yeah. of like a sweetness. That's good. Okay, coffee beans. Okay, coffee beans. <laughs> nope, smells coffee. Like coffee. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this one, this one is like the first one, but with a like almost a hint of like a like a rosemary bubble bath. <laughs> okay, right? I can see that Don't, a rosemary bubble bath. It's like what you would light and then like get in the bathtub and be like, ooh. I'm feeling lavish. Yes. Yeah. I like that one, but I think I like the first one better. I think I like the first one a little bit better because it it it's more of the vibe we're going for like the just the lighter yes and it's more neutral too mm -hmm. i want it to be a candle that's yes. like a, a crowd pleaser that's a good word neutral it is more neutral it i like this one but it's almost too light no to number three coffee, coffee. yep still smells like coffee <laughs> mm. different it's sweeter it is sweet. That one smells like a fresh bag of Halloween candy. I was just gonna say, it's giving like seasonal vibes. Yeah, yeah. Like it's giving, like I feel like I'd light that during Christmas for like the same fresh vibes, but like with a hint of with, Christmas. With a little Christmas, a little which Christmas. could be good because we're launching this in November, I think. Could be good. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> I feel like it's helping though. It actually is. It's completely like taking neutralizing it. it. Mm -hmm. 
That's going to be a strong contender against Ooh, number one. That one smells really good. You know how when people say like spring flowers, it actually yeah. just smells like your grandma's perfume? Yeah. This actually smells like Like the like flowers. sweetness, but not like at an overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Like not like the rosemary bubble bath. This is, no. But this is like sweet and fruity and springy feeling. And yes. Nice. Which maybe, maybe isn't right for fall, but could be right if we do another candle in the spring. It's a contender. Though. It's a contender. It's a contender. Why do I feel like the coffee is selling strong? I know every it time. is. Okay, our last one, number six. Oh, oh stop. no. Oh no, this is gonna make it really hard. That one's good. But I feel like for me, it's it, it gives a little bit soapy. It, that's true. I was thinking more like musk. Like it smells mm. a little bit like almost masculine. Yeah. Which I like. That's true. But, but it's but you're right. It, when you said the word soap. It's a little soapy. Yeah. Okay, let's. Let's go back to one and five. Oh, it's so good. It's really good. I really like how light it is. And that one does have a little bit of that like fall winter musk to it. Like it's it's neutral and it's clean and it's fresh, but it has that little bit of like warmth and musk mm -hmm. to it that makes it work for pretty much any season. Yeah. Like I feel like I could light this when I have like a fire in the fireplace and stockings hung and it fits, but also like in the spring. Like I was just gonna say, I feel like that would be, I wanna clean my house and then light that candle and just be like. And just sit in yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's let's do five. Ooh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's hard. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Annoying. We really are. Well, time to put this in my bag and make everyone I come across smell it. You like this candle? My Starbucks barista. Hello. Oh. Can you take a sniff? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> After we narrowed it down to two, I then spent the next month of my life uh, making everyone I encountered smell the candles and give me their feedback, their two cents. <laughs> cents. Two cents. They give me their two cents on the two sense. I tried lighting the candles in all sorts of different rooms in my house, like doing different activities. And the winner was, it was so clear to me, to everyone that we had smell it. Like this is just, it's it. It's everything. So then the amazing team at Anchored Northwest got to work hand pouring each and every candle. They make all their candles the old fashioned way from the wicking to the pouring. Everything at Anchored Northwest is done very slowly by hand. We got all the other details finalized, you know, picking this cute amber jar with the gold lid, designing our nice label on the front here, and the cozy and kind candle was born. The candle is $28 and it launches Monday, November 21st so just in time for the holiday season if you want to snag one as a gift for someone or to treat yourself it's going to be at 9 a.m pacific time oh i just want to smell it forever we got our shipment of five of the candles that they sent to us for like promo photos and stuff last week and i just i have to have this burning at all times like i wanted to conserve the sample that we had so i've only been burning it on occasion when i wanted to like test it out or i just i just really really, really wanted to light the candle. But now that like we actually have more than just the one sample, I, this is just constantly, constantly lit in my house. Oh, so good. <laughs> the rest of the candles are being shipped to the DFTBA warehouse in Montana. So that's where all of the orders are gonna be packed and shipped from. They're all ready for the launch. So uh, yeah, that, I actually was not planning on talking about this today, but then like Kenzie and Jaden were working on that and I just I just got really excited. I was like, you know what, let's roll with it. Um, so actually before I sat down to film this, I called Ryan because initially I was gonna post the vlog revealing the candle like on the 21st or 22nd and then the candle was gonna launch on the 30th. Everything else is in place for launch, like we're ready. That was just the, the original plan that we had. So I called Ryan and we were looking at the schedule and she was like, dude, we can launch this like on the 21st. If you put it in this vlog and then put that up like around the 16th or 17th, which I think is when this vlog is gonna go live, then we can totally just launch it on the 21st. So um, that that was kind of the audible that was pulled today, but I'm so excited about it. Like the, the sooner I can get this candle into the world the better because I'm just so dang proud of it and just so oh, so thrilled with the result <laughs> All right, so it is now 3.30. I do have some other work that I have to get into. It is just me in the house now. Uh, Jaden left at three and then Kenzie and Jess left shortly thereafter because they're actually going up to LA for the Harry Styles concert tonight. So it's just me, just a girl and her candle. <laughs> My parents are watching Grace this afternoon and they took her up to the park. I think I'm gonna try to spend some time with them when they get back. But for now, I am just gonna keep, uh, 
keep working my way through this to-do list. Let's see where we're at. Oh, I thought I was behind. I'm not behind. I'm actually a little bit ahead. <laughs> the uh, brand pitch that I had to send over, I had that like at the end of my day. So I thought I was behind, but actually no, because I already got that done. So we are doing good. Okay, next things I'm gonna do back at my desk. I'm gonna schedule a vlog for tomorrow. I also have to edit the thumbnail for that vlog. I haven't done that yet. I need to approve the product description for the candle for the website. That was sent over to my email this morning. And then the other email I didn't get to is uh, we're planning our holiday episodes for 20 whatever. And because we had so much fun dressing up for the Halloween episodes, we thought it would be fun to uh, plan some like themed outfits for the December episodes too. So we had a meeting last week where we all came up with the ideas, like the themes of our outfits for each episode. And then earlier this week, Jess worked on sourcing like the actual clothing items for each costume. So I have to look through that document and decide which ones I actually want to wear in the episode. Usually Jess sends over like two to four options per so that we can like pick which one we like the best. So like for one of them that we're doing, um, we're gonna dress up like the Mean Girls Jingle Bell Rock dance. <laughs> Ryan and Paloma already made their selects, I think yesterday. So I am the last one and then the orders will be placed and we're filming those episodes in, I think, think like a week and a half, two weeks. Very exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head to my desk, do that, get uh, back into the computer work grind. I hope this vlog isn't too boring. Like that's why I don't usually like to vlog a ton on my work days like this is because I feel like it's just me sitting at my desk being like, I'm gonna do this. I did this still at my desk. Now I'm gonna do this. So I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think of vlogs like this, but um, I gotta get to work. Also, I now have my desk candle back. Kenzie and Jaden had uh, snagged it for some of the product photos since we only have five. Oh, so now I can light it again. Such a vibe. <laughs> Back to work. Here is uh, the remainder of the schedule today. Also, I think I'm gonna try to go to the gym this evening. We'll see though, because I do have a sponsor contract to review for the podcast. And uh, I also wanna finish editing the second Disney World vlog. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in right here. I think we can make it work. <laughs> All right, checking back in. It is now 4.30. I just spent some time outside with Grace and my parents. Grace is putting all of her stuffed animals in the cozy coop. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Oh, does the mermaid want to go too? <laughs> Yay. One more. Okay. Make sure they're all wearing their seatbelts. There you go. It was a really nice little break. And uh, now I've got one more thing I want to do before I clock out until after Grace is asleep. And then I've got those couple other things that I want to try to get to tonight. Um, but last thing that I'm going to do right now is film this sponsored Instagram story that I'm doing with Fabletics, highlighting this holiday onesie. Oh my gosh. I am so excited about this. I got one of their onesies last month and I love it. I've been wearing it a lot for like cozy days around the house. And this is that same cut. It's also the same like fleece lined. It's got the hood, but in this super fun holiday print. So I'm going to put this on. Got to grab the content phone. I think it's in the studio. Uh, Kenzie and Jess were using it. Yep. There it is. <laughs> using it for uh, some of the candle content. Look at my cutie girl. Got to put this on. I can hear my parents downstairs singing Frozen with Grace <laughs> and it just puts a smile on my face. And you know what? It's fitting for the holiday onesie. A little bit of Frozen in the background. Okay. Here we have it. I am cozy. I am Christmassy. This is so much fun. Um, I also put on just like a pair of little red fuzzy socks. I feel like that goes with like the cozy holiday at home vibe. So I'm grabbing my phone. Let's do this. Okay, so last month I got a Forever Fleece onesie from Fabletics and I have been obsessed with it. So cozy, so comfy. <laughs> All right, two frames done. I'm gonna do the third one, like downstairs, all cozied up on the couch. Since Instagram changed the uh, limitations on Instagram stories, it used to be 15 seconds and then it would cut off. Now it's a minute. And since that change, oh my gosh, filming Instagram stories and especially sponsored Instagram stories, 10 times easier for me. Like all the time I would be talking about something and like trying to fit it all into 15 seconds and then I'd get cut off and I'd have to redo it. Or I'd like try to cram all of it into 
15 seconds and be like talking really fast and it just didn't feel as like natural to me and now like I just don't even have to think about it so thank you Instagram because uh that change means that I can just film a 24 second Instagram story and not have to do like a speed run in the last three seconds of the frame before I get cut off cold never bothered me anyway yes hello belly yay, yay! What? one more time <laughs> All right, I came downstairs, uh, joined my parents and Grace in the Frozen sing-along, and uh, now I'm gonna take my picture on the couch in the onesie, and then uh, just have some family time. All right, got my picture. Grace and my mom are dancing. <laughs> More. Now we're just gonna have some family time, so I will probably catch up with you guys after Grace is asleep. Dude, check it out. My parents brought bananas from their banana tree. They had like a big harvest this year, so they brought uh, this whole bunch for us. My dad said they'll ripe, ripe it up in like a week or so. All right. Hello, it is 8 p.m. Really, really fun evening with Steven and Grace. She's asleep now, Steven's playing some video games. And I just came back downstairs from doing some work at my computer. And uh, I had I had kind of come to the decision that I was not gonna go to the gym tonight. You know, it's late, I got stuff to do, and I kind of sealed my fate when I put on this comfy onesie. <laughs> so after Grace went down, I went upstairs and started getting some of my work done. And I was like, I need to move. <laughs> like, Today has been such a stationary day for me and like not only am I craving that that movement, that time for myself, connecting with my body, going to the gym, but also just from a practical standpoint, I feel like if I don't get some energy out, I am not gonna sleep well tonight. I have always struggled with sleep, falling asleep, staying asleep, and I feel like exercise is something that really helps me to be tired at the end of the day and fall asleep at night. So I think as, uh, as comfy cozy, as I am. I'm gonna swap my onesie for some leggings and uh, drive over to the gym for a little bit. Here we go. Actually, wait, well, I need a jacket. <laughs> it's actually like chilly outside <laughs> for once. Now I'm ready. Let's do this. And I just grabbed Steven's car key. The car key for the Tesla is like a credit card kind of thing. Um, but I realized I have to take Steven's car because my car keys are in the nursery. And I'm not about to risk waking Grace up. <laughs> The door handle on this car is so weird. <laughs> Here we go. All right, just finished my workout and I am tired. I am so tired, which was part of my goal, but I, I think I am gonna call it a night when I get home. I didn't finish everything that I wanted to tonight, but I feel really accomplished. I'm happy with where I'm at. And I think it sounds wonderful to curl up on the couch with Steven and watch a show, maybe scroll TikTok a little bit after and just, uh, just chill out for a couple hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.